Gero makes it easy to import PCBA designs from any electrical CAD application, including Altium, Cadence, KiCad, and Eagle. Users have several options to build their own PCBA component hierarchy in Duro that fits their workflows and any supplier's requirements. In this video, we will demonstrate Duro's recommended structure that we believe gives users the most flexibility for revisioning PCBs and electrical bombs independently. At the topmost level is the printed circuit board assembly itself. Nested at the first level are just two components, the PCB and electrical bomb, each with their own revision value. Within the E-bomb assembly are all the passives, connectors, and any other components that are part of the bomb. Users can choose where to attach the production documents such as schematics, fab files, and Gerbers. In this example, the schematic is attached at the top level PCBA, while the fab and Gerber files are attached to the PCB component itself. Now let's get started building this PCBA from scratch. In this video, we will build it top down, starting with the PCBA component. In the new component wizard, we will fill in the details for the printed circuit board assembly and attach thumbnails and documents. We can do this now or choose to add the documents later. On the Documents tab, we can select from a list to set the document type. On the Assembly tab, we can now start adding the first level children components, specifically the PCB and electrical bomb. By filling in the specification details of the PCB, Dura will automatically create a name value for you. But we can override this and set it to any unique name value we want. We'll also now add the PCB production files. After filling in the quantity value for the new PCB, we can see the assembly starting to take shape. All the tables in Duro are easy to customize, allowing you to select and organize columns to best support your current task. Next, we'll add the electrical bomb assembly component and fill in all of its details. After filling in the quantity, we can now save the printed circuit board assembly component. Going back to the PCB component itself, we can make any final updates necessary including setting the document types. And now save it as a specific revision value, including adding a brief comment to make it easier to find in the components history table later on. The where use feature makes it easy to navigate up the assembly tree to any parent assembly component. Now let's fill in the electrical bomb by importing a spreadsheet which was exported from our electrical CAD application. In this case, we'll choose New Components. Duro can recognize all common column labels and will automatically map them to Duro's values. For now, we will disable the distributor column since we will rely on Duro's vendor integration to use the MPN value included in the spreadsheet to pull all of the part specifications directly from the vendor's catalogs. This will guarantee the data is exhaustive and the pricing information is current. Before continuing, Duro will review the data in the spreadsheet, looking for any errors or missing information that could result in production delays or mistakes. In this case, Duro informed us it couldn't find the listed NPN in any vendor catalog. After a quick verification edit, we get the green light to proceed. We can see that all the components have now successfully been imported, filling in thumbnails and part specifications. 
Going back to the parent PCBA component, we can now see the full printed circuit board assembly and all of its individual parts and production files are ready to go. Duro's export feature makes it easy to now export the design to colleagues and suppliers.